Hi there. Welcome back to the English class. What did we do in our last video? We discussed the chapter Every success story is also a story of great failures. Thanks to the author Shiv Khera, we were presented with a bundle of inspiration by the means of Abraham Lincoln, Henry Ford, the Wright brothers, Colonel Sanders. Yes, we've learned about their life history, how success is the only aspect of theirs that we see, but we do not know the failures behind that success. Yes? So today, we'll go ahead with the question answers of this chapter. Question 1. Answer the following questions. To Lincoln, defeat was just a detour and not a dead end. Justify this statement from the life of Lincoln. What does a detour mean? An unplanned route on the way to your destination in your journey. Detour means an unplanned route in our journey, just like how failures appear unplanned in our lives. But did he treat those detours as failures? See, for Abraham Lincoln, half his life was filled with detours, failures in many aspects of life. Personal life, remember he lost his sweetheart, business and career, he lost business, a lot in business, even in career he lost his legislative races, yes, so many detours, but he did not treat them as a dead end. He did not treat it as a full stop. He just steered himself back onto track. Like the steering wheel of a car brings you back onto the road, he too brought him back onto the road to success. Yet he managed to steer himself back on track with his determination. He made sure these detours were not dead ends. You too, whenever there's a detour, whenever there's a failure, steer yourself back on track. Question 2. What did Socrates suggest as the secret to success? Do you agree or disagree with him? Let's first see what did he say was the secret to success. According to Socrates, a burning desire is the starting point of all accomplishments. Yes, just like how a small fire cannot give much heat, a weak desire cannot produce great results. He said, the purpose that motivates you towards success, that is important in life and that is why I agree with him. Do you also agree with him? Let's read on. A burning desire to achieve a purpose is what motivates us towards success. It fills us with the willpower. One must want success as if one's life completely depended on it. I'm sure you two agree. That's the question. Give reasons for your answer. So this is how you must present your argument. The next part. We have a table here. The person, his failures and rejections, and what was his final success? We have a few clues. Let's find out who's who. The first one is done for you. Let's read it out. Abraham Lincoln. What were his failures or rejections in life? Failed in business, defeated in legislative elections, had a nervous breakdown, lost congressional race and senatorial race. But what was his final success? Elected President of the United States of America. Let's go ahead and see who the rest of them are. In the second row, the final success was invented the trio tubes. Who invented these? Lee DeForest. Remember? And what was the failure rejection he faced? It was the ultimate rejection he faced. He was branded a fraud. He was charged for cheating people in making them believe that he can actually transmit a human's voice across the Atlantic. But later on, he went ahead, he made it true, and he used these trio tubes, which amplify electronic signals to start the electronic era in our world. The Wright brothers, the two brothers, what failure did they face? Remember, when they said that they are about to invent 
an object that's heavier than air but yet will fly in air. And people said, you're talking nonsense. But a week later, they took their first flight on their made aircraft. Next. Who knocked on many doors before he got his first order? Yes, your favorite KFC, Colonel Sanders. And what was his final success? Wow, he owns one of the biggest, largest chain, uh, chain of fast food centers in this world. If he had given up before knocking on the thousandth door, today we wouldn't have KFC. Walt Disney, what was his rejection of failure? All the newspaper columns told him that he cannot draw. But what is his final success? He invented iconic Disney characters like Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck. These characters have filled children's world in all countries. Yes or no? And that too from so many decades. Next, the clue here is grew up to be a great scientist. Remember, Thomas Alva Edison, he was rejected from school at the tender age of four because the teachers found that he's too dumb to learn anything. But with the help of his mother's conviction and confidence in him, he grew up to be a great scientist who invented the light bulb. Next, who established car company? Henry Ford. He is the one who started the automobile industry. But at the age of 40, he was bankrupt. What was his failure? He took loads of money from investors, but he couldn't start a business. He took money again and finally made a car, but that car had a huge number of faults in it. Yet he didn't give up. He tweaked his faults and then the automobile industry was pioneered by Henry Ford, by the Ford cars. Next, number eight. Fired by Henry Ford II. Lee Iacocca was fired by Henry Ford II. But what did he achieve? He is a person who developed the Mustang model in the Ford cars. He was not dejected by this. He went ahead and achieved what he set out to do. Finally, gave some of the best music to the world. Ludwig van Beethoven. Everybody wrote him off that he did not have talent for music, yet he gave some of the world's best compositions. That too, when he is almost deaf. Amazing people learn from their failures how they proceeded towards success. That is what is the intention of this table. Look at the number of defeats they faced, but then when you have conviction, when you are determined, when you persevere, you will achieve success. So in our next video, we shall also discuss about the study skills part of this chapter. See you.